Do you hear those crows? This week, I worked with the pediatric ENT doctors at CHEO. ENT stands for ears, nose, and throat, and they're also known as otolaryngologists. Anyways, I woke up at 5.30, now I'm here for ENT to be uh, here around 6.30. I'm gonna grab some scrubs and change because uh, we start rounding at 7 a.m., so a lot earlier than even pediatric medicine. Uh, it's gonna be a crazy week. Fast phase, let's go. After I met the residents in the morning at the NICU, we rounded on a couple of tiny neonate patients and then headed down to the clinic where I familiarized myself with some of the common topics in ENT. I took some time writing down these questions that the doctor prepared ahead of time and then researched the answers to them so that I could start studying. My first day on ENT was spent with a doctor that specializes on ears only, and this really helped me become more familiar with how to use an otoscope and a common problems regarding hearing. So I'm currently in a clinic with uh, the doctor, just examining ears, any, any children that come in, get to do history, take a physical, and uh, use the otoscope. Most patients that I saw would arrive, have an audiology test, which is when their hearing is tested to see if there's any hearing loss. Then I would go in, take their history, do a physical exam by looking at their ears, their nose, their throat. And once I completed the exam, I would then present the case to the doctor and he would see the patient with me. Not too long after I got home, my friend Jonathan invited me over to his place to do some studying and hang out before he left Ottawa. <laughs> That's a vlog. The vlog? You're in vlog. it. Okay. Jonathan. Jonathan, you guys remember Jonathan, he just subscribed, so make sure to subscribe <laughs> to the channel. And one of the things that I'm learning in clerkship is that you should take advantage of social hangouts as much as possible because it's way too easy to get sucked into studying every single minute you have or worrying about school. So my advice is sit back, relax, and don't get so sucked up into school that you forget to live your life. Get out, he's a family doctor, he had a plus one anesthesia, and he shares his experience. All right, so just finished eating lunch. Uh, today's been pretty chill. I started off at the NICU. I got to see a couple little babies and then I stuck to one doctor around 9 a.m. and we started doing clinic, seeing patients with hearing problems and we decreased hearing or they had some tubes placed in their ears or had some surgery done. I just go and take their history, do a quick physical exam, take a look inside their ear, right up the note and then present to the doctor and then we see the patient with the doctor. It's been very calm, which is nice for the first day, kind of ease things, ease into things. I don't know what to expect for the rest of the week. Hopefully I get to see some surgeries, maybe some more um, scopes done. So, so far today's been an only ear day, but there's also the nose and throat that I have to see. And there's so many conditions, so many things to know. Medical school is overwhelming. One of the tips the residents told me is to arrive earlier and read up on some of the patients before the clinic starts and even see the first patient before the doctor arrives because that will help speed things up throughout the day. Remember, taking initiative is always something to strive for and it helps everyone around you. Later that day, I was able to watch the end of a surgery where the residents removed a cholesteatoma, which is the buildup of keratinized skin tissue in the middle of the year. All right, so this morning we have a neonate going into the OR for a tracheostomy. So I'm just gonna go in the neonatal unit. The residents that I was with this week were super cool and you'll get to meet them a little later in this video, but both of them created a 3D printing company that creates biomedical parts to help hospitals. And here are some clips of one of their printing rooms. All right, I am home. I've been chilling, just watching some YouTube, taking a break from uh, doing work. But I'm gonna study soon, I can't procrastinate that long. So one of the things I like to do when I get home, usually like my back is stiff or my legs hurt because you're well, either standing for long hours or sitting for long hours and I typically feel that. I like to come on like a carpet. We also have a mat underneath of here and just roll on my back because it helps really align, crack some ribs a little bit. You feel it, you don't really hear it, but let me show you. And I'll do a couple of squats, push-ups, do a quick little exercise, nothing crazy, but really just to keep the tone in the muscles. So I highly recommend that if you're a student. And then to take it a little further, I'll pretend like I'm gonna roll completely back. And sometimes I do, so that's what I'll do. And that's something that I like to do every now and then, just to give my spine the full mobility, stretch out the muscles, keep it active, and then take a nice warm and then finish off cold shower and get back to work. 
Now off to have some supper. Good morning, it is Wednesday, 7.30. Today I have to be at the hospital a little bit later, so at eight, and the uh, sunrise is nice. It's nice and clear right now. You can see good quality image. Let me turn the camera around, look at that. Whenever there's a good morning, I like to show it because God's creation is beautiful and we have to enjoy every good day, every good weather, good moment and celebrate that. Today's gonna be a tough day, a lot of clinic patients, so very fast paced and hopefully some surgeries. All right, it's noon, I'm very exhausted. I've seen three or four patients already. Remember during the emergency week, I only saw three or four during an eight hour shift. Well, I've seen three or four patients in three hours or so. Learning a lot, got to see uh, a couple of interesting procedures. Well, not procedures, I got to see some interesting cases. One of the interesting cases that I saw this day was a young boy that had a foreign object in his nose for over half a year. The chief concern of the father was that there was something that smelt bad coming from his nose and that they thought it might have been a polyp. But after performing a rhinoscopy, the doctor noticed that it was something else and he ended up removing it. It was a little bit painful for the boy, but he was all good after. Later that day, I saw a couple of bronchoscopies performed and this is a procedure to visualize the airway to diagnose a condition or to take a look at in the area after you perform a surgery like a tracheostomy. Next two procedures are just two bronchoscopies heading to OR to meet the surgeons now. Thursday, we rounded at 7.30 a.m. Time to start rounding. And I decided to go with the anesthesia team to see what it looks like to bring our patient to the surgery room. After that, we waited for the anesthesia team to insert an IV, but because it was difficult to insert an IV in this patient because he was a neonate, me and the residents ended up waiting a bit longer. And one of the things that I would always recommend when you have some downtime is making use of that downtime to have conversations with staff and residents about their program, the special and get to know them better as a human being, get to know their story. And you can have amazing conversations. And I really hit it off with the two residents because they run their 3D printing company and I have my own unstoppable performance coaching program where I help students and young professionals like yourself overcome procrastination, become more productive and get 10 or more hours back in their week. More info in the description. But because of the similar interest in business and being productive with the time that we have, we had such a great conversation where the senior resident really encouraged me to take more action on my program, to be more high performance, to consider different things about social media or the business itself. And I really enjoyed that. I took it as a brotherly advice and I am so grateful for that conversation. After a long discussion, I asked them to give you, the viewer, some advice. So here it is in this clip. All right, hey guys, I'm here with Travis and Michael. These guys are the ENT residents that I'm learning so much from this week. And I thought that I'd give them some screen time to share some advice in regards to productivity or anything that comes to their mind. So Travis, do you want to start off with anything? Yeah, so just where you guys are in your life right now, just two pieces of advice that I would think of and things that I kind of uh, hold by is always be reliable. Make sure things get done when you say they're going to get done. Um, and keep your mind open. You're, you're at a stage now where there's uh, there's so many questions and, and be open to all those questions. It's excellent. Hi, nice to meet you uh, out there. Some things to think about, I guess. First is really prioritizing on the things that are most important and that will get you to your next milestones, your next step. So tied into that would be learning or perfecting the art of saying no. So, you know, you don't need to take on everything that every opportunity that comes your way, but, but really focus on the ones that will help you get there. And the second thing is, I can't speak high enough about how you build that network or that community that you engage with. So that goes with kind of, you know, studying or that can go with you know, volunteering, but it can also go with other aspects of your life. So surrounding yourself with the, the types of people that will help progress you and your mission is, is absolutely critical. Thanks for sharing that. And also just give these guys a quick plug is uh, they built together a 3D printing company that develops like biomedical equipment that's right. For hospitals, yeah. do you want to share a little bit about yeah. that? So we're, we have a, a cloud-based solution that empowers local hospitals to manufacture on site. And we look at key critical devices and, and products. So we do that in hospitals, with hospitals, through our online solution. Yeah. The name of the company is PolyUnity. You can check us out on our website. We'll have a new website launching in the next couple of months with uh, all the updated information and stuff. Uh, give us a follow on LinkedIn, Twitter, Instagram, uh, however you like. 
Awesome. So go follow them. Tell them that I sent you there and uh, have a great day, guys. If that doesn't deserve a like, comment, and a subscribe, I don't know what does, but I hope the advice from these two ENT residents, Michael and Travis, encourages you a lot. Soon after that, they scrubbed into a surgery and performed a tracheotomy for the first surgery and then performed an acicloplasty for the second one. This is basically where they remove the ossicles and put a prosthetic, but in this case, the patient had two ossicles in the middle ear. They just reshaped the incus, put it back in, and closed everything up. After the surgeries, I went down to the clinic and talk some more with the ENT doctors about his lifestyle, ENT jobs, and family medicine because both his parents were in family medicine, so I always want to learn as much as possible from people who have that firsthand experience. All right, we're done for the day. I just finished changing. One thing that I like to do is to drop off my used scrubs and then grab some new ones for tomorrow morning. That way I don't have to climb up, you know, three flights of stairs. I come in in scrubs, dressed and ready to go to the clinic. So tomorrow is a little bit last day. Residents are going to be here, just myself, the fourth year student and uh, doctors. So we're going to be at the clinic and helping the doctors see patients, writing up notes, presenting. And then um, one or two residents are going to join us in the afternoon. So that's going to be fun. It's gonna be busy and I feel a little bit more confident in my history taking skills than I'm enjoying this week and looking forward to also to a weekend so I can study and catch up on everything that I've learned. All right, I'm home here in front of my big screen, really nice thing. And I'm listening to Transformers theme song um, or one of the uh, soundtracks because it is my focus trigger so that I listen to it every time before I start studying. That way it kind of triggers me into gear to, to focus and to study and tune things out. So now I have a notion on this side where I take notes. I have U world in the middle where I do the questions. I also learn here and I also have Amboss to look things up and anything that I need, I'll just copy and paste onto notion. That way I'm building up my own library of things that I've covered and things that I don't understand and so I am trying to figure out this routine for studying for the next couple of weeks before our exams. Friday was the same routine where I was in the clinic, I saw a bunch of ear issues, and I don't wanna bore you with the same details. If you really enjoyed this video, then you're definitely gonna enjoy this one that's coming up on the screen. If you have any questions, any comments, or you wanna see any future videos on a specific topic, then make sure to comment them down below, and follow me on Instagram to stay up to date on my day-to-day -day life. Take care.